Hi there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing my video all on my collarbone piercings. Now you've probably seen these a few times in my videos before if you've watched any of my previous videos. So this is what they look like here. So as you can see I've got two this side and two this side. And I got these, uh, like my nipple piercings, I got them at the end of February. I got them done on the same day, same place, Titanic tattoos and piercings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain why I got them, what the process of getting them was like, the aftercare, and how I feel about them now. Just want to make sure that you can actually see them when I'm talking about them. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason why I got these piercings was, okay, I was originally going to just get my nipples pierced. But I kind of thought that I was going to be going through so much pain, but I'm not even going to be able to show off my new piercing. So I thought I'm going to get something else as well, something that's more on show. So that's why I thought about getting my collarbones done. And I don't know why, but I immediately thought collarbone piercings. I didn't want ear piercings because I always wear my hair down. I can't have any facial piercings because of work. So I thought something like this. You can have them out on show if you want to or say like when I am at work I can just cover them up with a really high neck top which is what I do and I do it very easily and I get away with it. So I went to get them done. When she was placing them and drawing a mark of where the piercing would be I was really really fussy about where she put them and that I would really encourage you to be like that as well because this piercing it's not a permanent piercing but it's going to be on you for a while and you don't want to pay that money have it on you if it's not going to be perfect I asked her to change it a few times she was absolutely fine with it because I wanted them really close to the collarbone as well and as you can see when I show my collarbones like try and make them more prominent as you can see they are so close to the collarbones she said if she did them any higher they wouldn't sit as well um under the skin so i was really really happy with this i also wanted them going down in a bit of a kind of diagonal i was just so happy with how she placed them and the piercings that these are called are microdermals so for microdermals they will either make the hole with a needle or a punch and for me i got a punch so what they do is they punch a hole in your skin and then that obviously that piece of skin is removed and then with that they put a plate under your skin and maybe I'll insert a photo here but you've got a metal piece here that sits under the skin you've got a piece going up which goes through that hole and then you've got the piercing bit that sits on top and as you can see here the only bit you see is that piece on top and everything else is underneath the skin and it kind of twists it kind of screws on the piercing screws on I really don't have much to say on the whole experience of her actually piercing me because it was done so quickly and it didn't even really hurt all you'll feel is a really 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 tight pinch and like I said I just got my nipples pierced and in comparison to that this really wasn't much at all and like I said in my previous video I feel pain really easily so I I actually cope with it fine so I'm sure you would too. So I laid down, she punched the hole in the skin, that was the only bit that hurt and um, the bit where she punched the hole through the skin. Then she would insert the plate, screw this on top and it was done very very quickly. I couldn't see her do it um, because I was lying down. She did put numbing cream on, she did put numbing cream on so I guess that would have helped a bit so yeah, I, once I looked at them in the mirror, they were they were bleeding a bit and she said to me straight away, she said, you're going to bruise. I can tell you're going to bruise really badly and I did. I bruised a lot over here, like under this piercing, I had this massive bruise and what she did was she would cover them um, with plasters. So she stuck one on there and one on there. So when I got home, I took off the plasters and there was a lot of blood on them and when I went to clean them that is probably the only time where I actually felt any pain from them uh, because I was really really trying not to move them but you're still putting a little bit of pressure on that area I took a glass of water poured about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in this and um, the glass of water which is about that big not a huge glass of water and I'd mix it all up and I'd dip in a q-tip and I would just go around the piercing with that water with the salt in it and also if you get something like a shot glass or something fill up the shot glass or whatever 
and you just place them on the piercing and just soak them that's also a good thing to do that's something that I do when I find one is getting a bit red like say if one got red like now I would do that and then it really sorts it out so yes I would do that twice a day clean them I don't really feel the need to do that now even though I didn't get them done that long ago but but I still clean them often and especially do that cleaning if I find that one has just for some reason or the other gone a bit red or a bit irritated does that happen often no the only it's only happened once i think this one got a little bit red a couple of weeks ago just after the blue was sorted with the salt water mix i also noticed that they would bleed a bit when i was cleaning them try not to poke them or prod them it needs to really stay in place because it's waiting for the skin to heal and grow, grow through that hole so it is anchored into the skin which is why if you keep moving it about it's never going to be anchored in because it will be always moving throughout the skin and not settle down. So yes, there would be a little bit of dry blood around the piercings so, so I tried to clean it as much as I could without irritating them too much. That only lasted for about a few days. The bruise, yes, there was a big bruise here. That lasted for over a week and once that had gone the piercings looked like they do now within i'd say two and a half weeks of me getting them done they look like this and i am really happy with them so i'll just show you up close that is what they look like and i wore plasters for a few days i would always wear plasters to bed for the first few days but yes I don't get them caught up in anything the only time I've actually had any issues is when I'm like in their passenger seat of a car and like if someone does an emergency stop these this piercing in particular is sat right where the seat belt is so it goes against it and it and that hurts but that's only happened like once so um it's just one of those things but I don't get them caught up in my clothing Okay, about these piercings coming out, these only last for like, micro jammals usually only last for about like a year to a couple of years, maybe a little bit longer, which made me really sad because I want these in forever. So they're either going to reject at some point or you're going to have to have them taken out and I'm really, really worried about either of those things happening. But I don't regret getting them done. That is just the only, I think that's the only downside to these piercings. Everything that's happened so far has been great. The thing I'm worried about most is when they get taken out or they reject or whatever. But if I was going to get these balls changed, I would really go to the piercer and get it done there. Instead of, hi Twiz, instead of me doing it myself because I'm not a professional anything at all. Um, I've been learning along the way. If you've had these yourself or anything similar, any other microdermals, please leave your experience down in the comments below so people can see that. And again, I'd recommend getting these done. I w I'm so happy with them, so happy with them. I can press them now like this. Don't hurt at all. They don't hurt at all. They're fine. But I just don't do that <laughs> because <laughs> I just want them to last for as long as possible. So I don't touch them and I haven't had any issues with them. So yeah. Um, thank you everyone so so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone <laughs>